I already said before that when you are creating a child, uh, you're going to have some deformations and then you have to go into character creator and, well, actually you create that in character creator, but you have to actually go into fixing the body, fixing uh, the face, the eyes, the eyeballs, uh, the tongue, the teeth. Um, they're going to be off. Now, if you start with the default female character that comes in character creator to create a girl, you have to get rid of the, the, the breast. That's the first thing you have to get rid of, especially if you, know, if you make a girl younger than 12 years old. Um, and that's a burden. Now, another thing that's a problem is when you are trying to dress the character uh, girl because when you use the sliders to make it a little bit younger, uh, there's going to be a deformation in the mesh of the body. Um, because of that, the kind of clothing that was created for an adult is not going to fit the, the avatar that you just created. And that's a problem. So you are going to have to fix the clothing. Not all the clothing that you have is going to look nice on, in the avatar. Unless you want to use pants for, for girls. I personally don't like to use pants for girls. I think um, they look better, you know, with a dress. Uh, they they look more more girly per se, and um, fixing the eyes, the eyeballs because they're gonna be a little bit off, um, or maybe they're gonna be a lot off depending on the kind of sliders you are applying in the avatar. Also, the teeth they're gonna be off. Uh, they're gonna be big or small or too high, too low a little bit sticking out maybe of the mouth, you know, of the lips. So you're going to have to fix that, the tongue as well. Now, let me show you what happens when you, after you do all the fixing, because once you send that into iClone, okay, and let me tell you, this avatar took me almost two hours to create. It's not an easy task to do. I apologize for the other avatars that I shared with you that are kids. You're going to have to look at, at the, the face of the avatar. It was very hard for me to put some kind of skin because the skin that it comes with, you know, if you use a male avatar to create the, the kids, um, it's not just about the fixing, you know, of the entire uh, physical features of the avatar, but it's also about the fixing of the kind of skin maps. And because we don't have really skin maps for kids, we only have skin maps for adults, you have to be going and then getting rid of all the, you know, like if you use a standard uh, body shape uh, for a skin map per se, uh, you don't have any muscles. So, of course, you're not going to have any shades, you know, in, in, the, in the map per se to kind of show the muscles. But... Even, even though you have the other kind, um, it may not look good. So you still have to fix that with the bump map, okay? Uh, the same with the face. You have to fix that with the bump map because, uh, you know, it's a kid and it looks very young. So to make the skin fair and make it not to have any wrinkles, you're going to have to fix that too. With the bump map, you have to lower the bump map, the strength. Okay, going back to the girls, because the girls are the most difficult. If you use a female character just to have that girly face, when you apply the sliders, whatever sliders that you have at the moment, because that's what creates these avatars, um, there's going to be a deformity or deformation of the face. Uh, I already told you the eyes, the mouth, uh, the teeth, the lips. You have to get rid of the breast. And when you do that, it's not easy um, to have like a standard body shape. You can use the male character and then try to fix the face, the head, you know, make it a little bit more girly. But it's a lot of trouble too, especially because you are playing with the sliders uh, that are the ones that allow you to do that. And you can also use a headshot to make the physical features a little bit more uh, delicate for a woman or for a girl. And all those things, they're going to have problems because you are playing with the mesh, remember. It's the mesh you're playing with, 
And every time you play with the mesh, you're going to have some uh, things that you're not going to like in, the, in regards to the face and things like that. Just to make this, uh, this face, let me tell you, it took me a long time. And one of the things I want to show you is what happens with the tongue, okay? If you use this, uh, because that's um, available, this feature is available for character creator, uh, avatars 3.4 uh, or greater, uh, it's supposed to have the tongue sticking out, and it's not doing it, as you can see. The tongue is still inside the mouth. Okay, now let me use this one right here. And if we can see... It's supposed to touch the upper lips. It's not doing that. It's still inside the mouth. You know, I really like this feature in um, in the face puppet because it gives the character a little bit more of a real kind of feeling uh, in regards to what a human person is. Uh, when you can stick out the tongue, you know, and you can also touch your lips with the tongue and things like that, move it around, you know, your mouth from side to side. Uh, outside you know of course that's really nice unfortunately you're not going to have that kind of feature here i want to let you know that unless you know how to fix this i personally try to fix this i spent a lot of time trying to fix that problem because i really love that and i wasn't able to um my avatars are going to come like that i want to apologize in advance for the other avatars that i share in regards to the kids because I just noticed that some of the like skin maps, I didn't change them. And uh, they still have like, there's one of them that has a mustache. <laughs> and you're going to have to get rid of that. You know, I'm not going to do the fix for you and then upload it again. Because I already uploaded the kit. It's already a kit. I, I think that's the most difficult part. You're also going to have to fix the tongue. Because when I was checking the faces of the kids, the tongue sticking out, you know, sticks out of the mesh of the, the upper lip. And, and the lower lip so you don't want to have that you know when you are animating you don't want to have those things happening because they're going to look really bad and then you're still going to have to go back to character creator and fix those problems and then put the kit in there so i'm just going to advise you that since i already did all the work for you in regard to creating a kit just whatever skin meshes that you don't like and you don't, you have the skin maps for uh, a nice um skin you know uh just go ahead and apply it to your avatar take it to character creator apply it to your avatar and then just save it you know i'm not going to be doing that like i told you before because it's a lot of a uh, lot of work and just getting the kids you know to where they are it's, it's it's a lot of work you have to fix the eyelids you have to fix the eyeballs you have to fix the tongue the teeth uh, a lot of fixes that you have to do you know i apologize if for some avatars you're not going to find those fixes in regards to the kids I'm going to try to be creating new kits, especially the girls, and I'm going to try to make those fixes for you. But ju I just want to let you know that with the face puppet, you're not going to have this this feature right here for the lips and the tongue. You're not going to have that. Uh, I, I, I'm i sorry. You know, if you know how to fix that problem, that that'd be great. I personally couldn't. I spent like um, more than half an hour, almost an hour, just trying to do the fixes, and I, I just couldn't do it. Okay, and... Another problem that you're going to find in creating these uh, avatars is that because of the size of the, the mesh, you know, you have an adult and then you have a, a, a little kid, uh, the mesh is going to change in size. And I just want to let you know that when you apply any clothing, the clothing is going to be really hard also to fix. Some clothing is just, they, they, they can't just, not, they, they can't be used, you know. Uh, take take for example this clothing um you see the the skirt and you see the sweater if you can see the sweater it doesn't look like a normal one per se there is a little bit deformed on the sides which in this case it's it's okay in a way you know it's okay in a way because it doesn't look that too much deformed i was using other kind of clothing that were for for women and just because of the change of the size of the body, um, these areas uh, at the bottom, they were sticking out a lot, you know. And I know there are ways to fix that. I personally don't want to go through all that trouble because, you know, when you want to animate or create avatars, you want something really quick. 
and just fixing all those problems it's it's time consuming and it's tedious for me it's tedious because i am not a game developer i am not an animator and i just want to go ahead and, and just put the actors there and then just make them you know do whatever i want them to do for a story um for all the people you know who are into those things i'm sure they don't have any problems doing going through all the trouble and doing the fixes now for the skirt you know like i was looking at the skirt when this outer had a different position in regards to the legs uh, i made it to look a little bit more girly and because of that the the skirt was off uh, in regards to the legs I know that I can, in a way, I can hide the legs so that there's no poke through. But, you know, it's not just about fixing that. It's just that the avatar is going to make, it's going to be doing any kind of movements. And, of course, you know, it's going to be moving around, maybe sitting down, whatever. I personally don't like short skirts. Unfortunately, the kind of clothing that is available right now is just for adult females and not for kids. I wish, you know, Realution would come up with packs for kids and clothing for kids so that we can go ahead, you know, and actually create kids and have that kind of clothing for them so that the, the mesh of the clothes won't be off and won't be deformed at the same time. And there's uh, so that there's not going to be a lot of poke through as well. So those are things that you have to take care of if you're creating kids in character creator 3.41 and that's pretty much everything i wanted to share with you uh like i told you before i apologize if for whatever reasons you know the avatars um they are not uh okay with a with a mouth uh let me show you okay let's uh, we're gonna pick just one more avatar this one right here okay okay we're gonna do a close-up you know, for some of them, I did try to change the skin. Uh, I don't really like the kind of skin that they have, but I don't have any other maps. So I I share what I can right now, you know, and I, I'm glad to share with you so that you can do your, your own movies. Uh, you can see the lips, they are like a little bit kind of girly because actually the the lips that I used were, were from, from women. Uh, just to get rid of the, the kind of lips they had because the kind of lips they had, they, they look really bad. Uh, it's not that they are looking good here because they look girly too, you know. <laughs> I don't like them, but, but anyways, you know, I, I have what I have. And you can do any fixes if you want. I think it's going to be easier for you to do any fixes. So let's try the tongue right now. Okay, for this one, you see there's not much problem because it's a boy. <laughs> And you can start with a with a male character, and that the deformities you're gonna have are gonna be less than with a girl, okay? Because with a girl you use a female default character, and it's gonna be a lot of trouble. If you use a male character and then try to make the head a little bit curly, it's gonna be a lot of trouble too. I mean, it's gonna be time consuming. Okay, now you see, for some of them, it's it's all right. You know, it's not as bad but it's not sticking out uh, either now you look at the tongue it's a little bit uh too dark you can go into character creator and make a make it a little bit lighter and then just uh, transfer the character into iClone. that's what i did well with this i finished all these um showcase and problems creating a kids in character creator i'm going to be sharing more kits for those who want to download them i'm going to try to fix all those problems for you but I'm not gonna uh, promise anything really because it's really hard <laughs> it's very time, com time consuming and it's something that I don't really want to spend so much time on you know doing all those fixes so um, I'm gonna be sharing a new pack this is of course um, this is not a new pack you know per se uh, because we have we still have the kids right here the the male kids the boys Okay, but I'm creating right now girls. Let me show you this one. It's um, another girl I created. I am satisfied with that girl. Um, I think in regards to when it comes to the face puppet and the tongue, I, I think I also fixed that problem in this one. Scary. Okay, 
Sorry about that. It's because I put a, an audio in one of the, the avatars, the girl avatars. Okay. Yeah, so it's so, it's so so. I tried to fix that, you know. So I'm trying to fix that in the new avatars that I'm creating. I'm going to be sharing girls because I don't have girls. I do have a couple of them. I don't like all of them. But these ones, these ones that are new that I'm creating, I'm, I'm more satisfied with, you know. But like I told you about the mesh of the clothing, you see, I mean, this clothing is for, for women in in Eichel, uh or character creator, yeah, but when it comes to, to little girls, uh, there's just no clothing. I, I hope, you know, Revolution comes up with some avatars, some kid avatars, you know, for girls and boys and they can help us you know uh, so that we don't have all those troubles dressing up these kids we are creating thank you and you have a great time with icon